It's a mineral, an element, and the most precious of the precious metals. It forms within the Earth's crust and at the Earth's surface. And sometimes it returns to the Earth in the form of priceless treasures that people once buried. For centuries, the word gold has meant beauty and value. Its color and brightness make it a universal symbol of wealth. Pure gold never loses its shine. It's also virtually indestructible and highly malleable. Usually, it's combined with other metals to increase its strength in things like jewelry and coins. There are a lot of ways people try to find hidden gold. Some use metal detectors. Others search for sunken treasure at the bottom of the sea. But most gold seekers hope to mine it from the earth in its native form. Many miners will go to extremes and endure harsh conditions in pursuit of a dream. On the Rio Madeira in Brazil, the river runs heavy with gold. Here, the men have devised their own, rather unique methods for extracting whatever gold they can find. Deposits of gold that reach the surface of the earth are typically mined as very fine particles in the beds of lakes and rivers. To reach the riverbed of the Rio Madeira, these gold seekers use a crude drill shaft. It dredges up tons of silt and stone in an exhausting around-the-clock job. Ridged carpets act as filters to catch any gold. While sand and gravel float away, heavier gold particles sink to the bottom of the carpets. In order to get the gold out, the men run these carpets through water in a separate container. The result of their labor is a fine layer of gold dust, which doesn't look like much. In a process called smelting, the dust is fused and melted to produce a metal paddy. At the end of a long day's work, they may wind up with a paddy worth a thousand dollars. Back in town, the gold patties are combined and melted into a 15-ounce bar of gold that's sold for about $6,000. It's a tough way to earn a living. But for these miners, the price of gold is worth it. <laughs>